Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be creating a little splash screen created with uh, JavaScript and React. And uh, since we are going to be doing some animation, I um, have decided to use a library called um, React Spring. So right away we can do yarn add React Spring or npm install React Spring. And uh, the reason why I'm pulling in a library for this task is because if you have worked with uh, worked with uh, animations in React, you know it can be kind of cumbersome when you're dealing with more advanced use cases. And when I say advanced use cases, I mean something that's not a grow or a slide or a simple fade animation on an element on the page. Okay, so that's why after installing a React Spring, I can go ahead and say yarn start. And uh, that should start up our development server. All right. Now, um, after that's done, I'm going to hide my terminal here and start coding. Okay, so I'm going to be creating a splash screen today. And the splash screen I'm going to create will be consisting of three text elements and an image. And I want these text to fade in while grow bigger and then fade out and then decrease in size again. Okay, and I want them to come one after another. So they take turns basically. And then at the end I want my image. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make use of a, the use chain um, use chain hook from react spring okay and uh, let, well let's just first create our markup okay so we have an h1 that says welcome and we're gonna have another h1 that says two and another one that says the and then our image here. And I'm just going to copy paste in an image here. You will see how it looks later. And then I'll put a height of 200. Okay, that's our markup. That's not looking too bad. Pretty simple. Okay, so <clears throat> now we want to be creating some animation stuff. And since we're going to be using use chain, uh, we need to be creating some refs. So let's start off by just creating our first ref here. So let's just say text one ref use ref. Okay. And um, since I'm going to be creating quite a few, I'm going to do a import up here, use ref. So we don't have to say react dot use ref like this okay now after i have acquired my ref i can go ahead and create the animation and um, the animation is created by using the use spring hook so let's say const text one uh, let's call it style and they will use spring okay now this use spring hook needs to be imported from the library react spring all right now this uh, use spring takes an object and we need to at least fill out two properties and that is the from which is an object and also the to which is an object. Okay. So from is our initial state and here we can put in some styles. So I can put a to zero and I can put in opacity one here. So now I'm doing a very simple fade animation. Okay. Now let's just see this run first. So Next step is to import the animated 
from React Spring. This is a component. Now in our welcome, I can do animator now dot the component or the element I was using before, which is the H1 here. Okay. Now when I've created my spring here, I can pass it in as a style to whatever element I want to animate. So here we can do text one style. Okay. Now I haven't used my ref yet. And the reason why I haven't used it yet is because I haven't done any chaining. I'm just going to try to see if this welcome element becomes animated. All right. So let's open up Chrome to see if it works. Okay, so let's refresh. Oh, that was a very quick fade animation here. All right, that's working. Now, we want to be creating this chain. So let's add a ref to this uh, use spring object. Text one ref here, okay, like this. Now what we can do is call use chain imported from react spring and then pass in an array here this is the array of animations we're going to be doing and it's going to take the first element and then uh, take the next animation in the array and so on so here we can put in text one ref okay so we're passing in the ref and not the spring here. And we're also putting a ref here in the ref uh, attribute of the use spring. Okay. Now to see if our chain is working, we need to be ch actually chaining it. And uh, that means we need more than one element. And uh, all right, so to do that, I'm just gonna do a quick refactor here because I want to be using this spring, the same one in multiple places. So um, I'm going to delete this and then down here I'm going to be creating a new React component. Okay. So let's call this React component um, use animation. And this may take a ref and here we may define a spring and we put the ref here up here and then we may return it okay now we create a little neat hook here and uh, we can start reusing this one to create some uh, styling props for all these h1s here okay and this is how it will work so let's first take all these h1s and then do animated in front of that one okay now let's take the first one so Let's do text one style equals use animation and then we just pass in our ref here. Okay, down here we expect to get a ref and we insert it here on the ref attribute and we just return the spring here. Okay, so that should be cool. Now, what we can do is we can more or less copy this one and, this, and just create two refs, new refs here. So text two ref, use ref, text three ref, use ref, and just pass it in. And also change the name here. Okay. And now we can pass in our refs here into our chain. And down here we can add the spring animation to our elements. Okay. 
Now this should actually create some chain. So let's see if it actually works. Okay, if you refresh again, welcome to the... Okay, that seems to be working quite well so far. Now, the neat thing about doing this is we can make it more complicated now and then yeah and then reuse it saving us even more um saving us even more space instead of uh repeating this we can just reuse it which is cool so um here we just do a from and to okay but we can make it a little more complicated so in our two instead of just passing an object we can pass an array and in this array we can have multiple objects okay so let's first we start let's say we start at opacity one okay and then we go to or zero sorry and then we go to one and then after that we go back to zero okay now similar similarly to this chain array where we execute these in order the same goes for the two array here in our use spring so if you say that and go back we can see it animates it fades in fades out and uh, yeah it's working pretty cool now let's add some additional styling so in our from since uh, i'm adding some opacity here our elements are not in the same space or in the same place e even so we need to add a position absolute here right if you save that we get the text in the same place this is what we want for our splash screen now very cool uh, we can even add more stuff to this uh, like a transform let's, let's just add a transform just to add some more stuff in here so transform we can do uh, scale 0 0.2 and then when it's visible opacity 1 we can turn the scale into 2.0 here and then when it leaves we will start decreasing the size again to 0 0.5 something something like that save it uh, the size is not changing actually so let's see what went wrong here seems like there's a spelling mistake here transform welcome to the okay it's working great now now the last one we need in our chain is the image so in front of the image here we can do animated and now it's ready to be animated now for the image i'm just gonna create a new use spring or a new animation so i won't use this use animation i'm just gonna create a new one just to show you guys some variants here so let's do const but oh, we need a ref first we always need a ref so let's do image ref use ref then image oh const image style use spring and we have the two and we have the from as well okay cool now for the image, I'm just going to do a symbol fade. So to opacity one from opacity zero. Cool. And um, now I just need to add my image ref in our chain and add the style down here. So image style. Okay, save it. Go back to Chrome. Our image is here. So something isn't quite right. 
so it appears I forgot to add the ref property which is awkward so let's add that one and save it jump back to Chrome cool that's our splash screen right here welcome to the 2020 all right cool cool apart from the fact that it doesn't sound too great welcome to the 2020 uh, everything is working and we create our own little neat hook here and uh, our splash screen is working so uh, yeah cool hope you guys learned something and see you in the next one